Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do schnauzer eyebrows so that they're really striking even on a pet dog. This here is a second appointment with me. Dog that um, is actually from the streets of Mexico. Uh, the mother is a rescue person and she has a rescue Scotty that I do as well. But right here, I'm just pulling the eyebrows back to take off the eyelashes only. The eyelashes are a harsher texture and they will cause a little bit of disruptance while you are trying to do the eyebrows. So right now I'm just kind of showing you that I've done the stop as well as the blending on the cheek and this is really just to demo the eyebrows. So <clears throat> I take my hand in a U shape and I cover the eyes to protect them and then I take my hairspray and uh, after fluffing the eyebrows a little bit I squirt just a little bit on the eyebrows. He wasn't a huge fan so I had to grab him back real quick and we're gonna need to put a little bit more hairspray in them because he did kind of jump and I stopped <laughs> so uh, again just protecting the eyes and that final little squirts of hairspray so now I comb them forward because we want to really lock them in place so now that they're kind of sitting exactly where I'm gonna trim them I spray hairspray from behind you just miss the bottle but Showing it from behind, and you don't have to worry about the eyes because the eyebrows are doing their job in protecting the dog's eyes. Now I use my two fingers just to smooth it out and kind of make all the hair join. Okay. And then I take a long curve so I can visually see exactly where it points to the center of the nose, well, the corner of the eye to the center of the nose. And hopefully in one little cut, you will get the whole eyebrow. The more you mess with it, oftentimes the worse you can make it. So I look at it from above and just trim a little bit more. Um, but again, you don't want to fiddle too much because then you can end up with tiny eyebrows or just completely different shapes. So from the middle of the nose back to that corner of the eye, and I have to make a little bit of noise to get the dog to look right directly at me. And then I look at it again from above. I want to make sure that these match. And then that's what you get from the side there.